Hey guys welcome back, and today we will create this nice and minimal business card design step by step in Adobe Illustrator. So let's jump right into it. First we have to create an artboard for printable business card. Open a new document. Set the profile of your document to print. And change the units to inches. Now enter the dimensions for your canvas. This is the default size of a business card. Now add a small bleed value like this. Make sure that the color mode is set to CMYK. Then hit OK. And you will see an artboard like this. Now we have to make sure that the main content of design is not too close to the edge of the artboard. Because it will create some cutting edge problems after printing. So we have to create a safe zone for our main content. Select the rectangle tool. Click anywhere on the artboard. Then enter these dimensions for the rectangle. And hit OK. Align this rectangle to the center of the artboard. Click on this small arrow to swap the fill with stroke. And now we have created a safe zone for our content. We will keep our text inside this rectangle. Select this rectangle. Open the object menu, and lock this rectangle. Now we can work freely without disturbing this rectangle. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle on the left side. Open the gradient panel. And apply a linear gradient to this rectangle. Change the white side of this gradient to a bright red color. And the black side to a dark color. Select the gradient tool, and apply the gradient vertically like this. Note down the CMYK percentages for these colors and apply them accordingly in the gradient. Slightly adjust the position of this rectangle. Hold down the ALT key, and click and drag to create a copy. Apply some dark color to this copy. Note down the percentages for this color. Select both these rectangles, and create a copy for the opposite side. Right-click on this copy. Go to Transform. And select Reflect from the list. Reflect this copy vertically and hit OK. And slightly adjust its position. Place your logo in the center. Drag your logo in Illustrator. And make sure to use some dark color for the text so it is visible. Align this logo to the center of the artboard. And scale it down properly. Slightly move it to the top side. Now add some helpful link at the bottom side. You can write any helpful link that you like. And change its font size to 7 pixels. The backside of our business card is complete. Select this artboard tool. Hold down the ALT key. And click and drag to create a copy for the front side. Now you can remove these rectangles. Don't forget to create a safe zone here as well. Use the same previous dimensions to create a rectangle. 
align it to the center and swap the fill with stroke and make sure to lock this rectangle Delete this red rectangle as well. We will adjust this content in a minute. Increase the width of this dark rectangle. And place it on a position like this. Open the effect menu. And round its corners. Select a small value and hit OK. Adjust the rectangle as you like. Now change the color of this logo text to white. And place this logo in the center of this rounded rectangle. Scale it down according to this rectangle. Now write the remaining text here. Change the paragraph alignment of this text to left. First write your name on the front side. Slightly increase its font weight. And use a small font size around 10 pixels. Note down the font that I've used. Create a copy of this text, and write your designation here. Decrease its font weight to regular, and set the font size to 6 pixels. Keep in mind that you don't have to go above 6 or 7 pixels, because these are some default font sizes for a business card. Select the line tool, and create a horizontal line here. Click here to activate the stroke. And use the same dark color for this line. Now add some social media icons here for the contact info. You can download these icons from any website. Align them correctly with the name and designation. Write your contact number. A suitable address and some official email for the business card. Create a copy of this text, and write some contact number here. Create more copies and write the remaining info. Also make sure to align them correctly. And finally write an email address. Keep the font size to 6 pixels. You can take your time to align them to the center of each symbol. Now the front side is also complete. Open the object menu. And select unlock all. This will unlock the two rectangles. You can delete them now. If you want to check the final output of the design. Select the rectangle tool, and create a rectangle equal to the size of the artboard. Create a copy for the front side. Now select everything on the back side. Open the object menu, and make a clipping mask. Similarly do for the front side as well.
And here is the final look of your business card. Hope you liked today's design tutorial. Don't forget to like this video. And also subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.